So coming in at number eight uh, is one of the first projects that uh, I presented at Lyft, uh, Not By Bread Alone. Uh, I had the fortune to go to Jaffa, just outside of Tel Aviv, in 2010, and witness what was one of the most extraordinary theatre projects that I've ever seen. Uh, in a beautiful old converted building in Jaffa, uh, there was an organisation uh, that was committed to making theatre with people who were both deaf and blind. Uh, and Nalagat, the company who ran that centre in Jaffa, uh, worked with people across all age ranges, uh, uh, Jewish, Muslim, Palestinian, Israeli, uh, who'd found their ways, who found, who'd found their way into, into Jaffa to work with Nalagat to create theatre. And theatre is hard enough to create at any, uh, uh, for anyone. But when you're deaf, when you're blind, when you've lost those two senses, how do you create a piece of theatre? How do you communicate with a director? How do you communicate with your other actors? How do you respond to cues? Uh, and this company had been working for many years, uh, uh, creating theatre which did all of those things. And uh, Not By Bread Alone was a, an absolute triumph of the human will. We brought that work over to J from, from Jaffa. Uh, we took it to Arts Depot up in, Nor up, up in North Finchley. And we ran it for almost three weeks. Not just the show, but also we brought from the Nalagat Centre the cafe, which was staffed by deaf waiters, and a restaurant where you ate completely in the dark. So when you entered into Arts Depot, you had to be negotiating, you had to be communicating on somebody else's terms. You had to try and use sign language to order a cup of coffee or order a cup of tea. Or you had to eat in a completely blacked out restaurant, which, was a, it's a, which is a very destabilising, odd sensory experience. And then you went to see the show, which was about the, 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 the joy of making things together. The show started with 13 performers, Baking bread, uh, 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 making bread together, putting it in ovens, uh, and then during uh, the hour of the show, the bread would bake, infusing the auditorium with the gorgeous smell of baking bread, and it would end with bread being shared uh, 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 with the audience and the performers. But in the meantime, what you got was uh, uh, an insight into the experience of people who lived with no sight and lived with no sound, and just for me is an incredible example of the kind of bridge that theatre can build, of the bridge that understanding that it can offer, uh, not by bread alone, was a really important project.